was only supposed to be three to six months long at the most, and it's been, in a, about two weeks, it'll be a, a year. And so, I mean, he comes home about every other weekend, or three, sometimes, kind of depends on what's happening, but we at least see him a couple of times a month, so that part's nice, but having only 48 hours every other week with your spouse, um, it's, it's hard, especially with three kids that miss their dad, so this past year has been really, really, really difficult. You know, you have managers that tell you, oh yeah, three to six months, and then they keep breaking promises and changing expectations, and you know, corporate America, it's fun stuff. So anyways, out of that mess, how are you guys doing? Um, I wanted to make this video because I know that um, you probably noticed a change in the name. I decided to change the name because, to be honest, Nene Whispers was never something I really liked, even from the beginning. So, hello, my name is Renee. <laughs> That is my actual name, Renee. But growing up, ever since about third grade, everybody would call me Nene just for fun. And then when I got older, I was in high school when my elder sister had her first child. And I was called Aunt Nene. So all my nieces and nephews call me Aunt Nene. And ever so often, friends call me Nene. So that's always kind of been a nickname of mine. My husband refuses to call me that, though. <laughs> he doesn't like it. So when I first created this channel, it just made sense to call it Nene Whispers because that, it was more personal without giving out my real name, but now I just, I don't really care if y'all know my first name. It doesn't matter, you see my face, so. But anyway, um, Nerd Girl ASMR is now the new channel name. I just, it had such a ring to it. Like the moment it popped in my head, I got so excited. I immediately went to YouTube to see if it was already being used, and it wasn't. So I was, I immediately changed it to that because it really captures who I am. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed, but yeah, I got braces put on. So I'm, a, I got them with my teenage son. So <laughs> weird doing it together. I was supposed to have them taken off in December, but um, my canines are not wanting to cooperate with the bands right now. I do not have the bands in. I ate a snack a little while ago, and all of a sudden, like, I had the urge to make a video. I was like, let's do it now. Like, I just took a shower, blow dried my hair, and um, no makeup, but you know, you get what you get. <laughs> so, here I am. So I decided, okay, I'm going to finally make a video, and I wanted to give you guys a heads up on some of the content I would like to make. As the name indicates, I'm kind of wanting to kind of get more into my nerdy side of things. I was a big Trekkie growing up. I think I've mentioned before on this channel that I have a Star Trek collection. I wanted to show you guys. I still haven't done that. I still have the collection. It's in a giant rubber made tote in my closet, just sitting in a corner of the closet collecting dust so I used to be scared to pull it out because my kids anytime I pull them out they want to open the dolls they're still in most of them are still in their boxes and so it's hard to tell your kids no when they get so excited about a toy and then you kind of feel like a dork <laughs> grown up with toys that you don't want your kids to play with but my youngest is going to be 11 in a couple of weeks and so She's got, a, she's got her own thing. She doesn't care about my dolls. She's into bunnies. We now have little bunnies. I might can show y'all the bunnies I'm talking to. I got too many animals. I grew up on a farm with tons of animals. And I live in town. And I'm probably going to get in trouble if they 
comments but that's about all I'll tell you for now because I love 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 talking about Tommy Beatty and I will absolutely absolutely be making diamond or painting videos I've already got lots of footage my phone is full right now because I've made it lots of like close ups and stuff of me actually diamond painting I'm trying to think of some like starter questions like kind of introductory is what I'd like to do it's like a like I already did an unboxing and showed like the beginnings of a painting and then I finished the painting so that's really been what's been selling a lot of my free time is time in painting I've got another canvas right now on my desk that I put off for like two weeks and I worked on it for like four hours yesterday and it's coming along and I can't wait to show you guys oh I cannot wait to show you guys because these are so fun and relaxing um there may be channels out there that already do ASMR and diamond painting but I'm gonna throw my hat in that ring I haven't even looked it up because if I see other people are doing it it's just gonna discourage me from wanting to do it so I'm trying to keep my head in the sand on that one and that's really kind of part of what I struggle with with doing my ASMR channel is I'm always scared oh you don't have original ideas you're not your channel's not as big and fancy your equipment's not as good and I constantly talk myself out of it but I have such a want and desire to do it I just can't seem to let it go so I feel like maybe I'm supposed to be doing this as y'all might know or remember from other videos like I'm a stay at home mom so this is my full time gig is staying out and with my husband being gone this past year it's been extremely extremely lonely I've been very lonely but I'm praying and hoping that it's all gonna end very soon um we think there's a light at the end of the day at the end of the tunnel but it feels like every time there's a light at the end of the tunnel it turns out to be a train to blow over us it's just I don't know how many times in this past year I thought okay we finally get to be a family again we finally get to live together again and it just something happens and it changes it just seems like the moment you reach your goal it just gets yanked away by the string and it's it's been extremely frustrating here for for me and my husband and my kids it's a shame that companies are okay with separating families like this so but at the same time it also allows me to be home with my kids i'm the one that takes them to soccer practice basketball practice you know tutorials after school and things like that so it's it's hard but rewarding rewarding to do i was at a bank for 12 years and as a bank auditor, even though I loved my job, um, we end up, I end up stepping away so my husband can pursue his career, and it's been good to us for the most part. This past year, it was just a very unusual year, so it is what it is at this point. Like I said, hopefully he'll be coming to an end soon, so, but that's basically what I've been up to. If you guys are into diamond painting or curious about it, please let me know below. I would just love to hear about any input or if you guys have suggestions on stuff you'd like me to do. Um, if something like that, just let me know. Anything nerdy. <laughs> oh, I'm a Grogu collector. I don't know if y'all know Baby Yoda. Grogu. I have a Grogu collection I can share with you too. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I need help. I need help. Send prayers. <laughs> Anyways, I just want to give you guys a quick update. I can tell myself I was not going to make a video or post a video until I have at least five videos made. Hopefully, I kept that promise to myself. So, if you're watching this, I can't. Hopefully, <laughs> if you're watching this, I may have five videos at least like recorded and started that I can then post shortly after I, the consistency I know is my number one killer on my channel I am the worst because I get this strong urge and then I get scared and it sucks I hate that about my personality and the thing that scares me I y'all gonna think I'm crazy so I'm scared of failing at this while equally being scared of being successful at this. Does that make sense? I'm, I'm scared. Nobody's gonna watch my stuff and hate it and just tear me down. But 
as me. So, it's stupid. I would much rather be successful, yes. Absolutely. Nobody does this. Puts in the work and puts yourself out there and hopes that it fails. That's not what I'm saying. It's just, I just, I was scared of it growing too fast and then it feeling overwhelming. But I don't really feel that way anymore, if that makes sense. I think I needed to reach a certain level of maturity emotional maturity. I'm old enough where I should be mature, but, you know, but, um, I think I've finally reached a, sp a point in my life where, yeah, I can handle this. So, I know this is a short video, but it's just kind of a touching base video. In case you're wondering, I did end up buying a camper. I know I made a video about that. We bought it last year. It's a fifth wheel. The one that I was not gonna buy. It, yeah, we got the fifth wheel. We got a bigger truck and a fifth wheel. And that's literally what my husband's living in now. That was not the plan for the camper when we were looking for one. The, we did take it to Disney though. And I have Disney decorations in it. It's like the whole inside theme is Disney. I even have like Disney stickers on the outside. But, because we're a Disney family, my sister even more so, I even have a niece that just started the college program at Disney this last month, and she'll be there uh, through the fall, so I'm so, so excited and happy for her, it's like a dream come true, it's something she dreamt about ever since she was 10 years old, so I'm super proud of her and excited for her. I have a nephew that got married last year. His life has been good, and it really has been good. It's a little hard not having my husband around, but it's not the first time we've been through this. I don't know if I ever told y'all that before. And this would be, I think, the third. This is the third time my husband and I have had to live apart. He's in warehousing. And it's been with different companies. And the first time was when I was pregnant with our third child. He missed most of that pregnancy. And so, I think it was within a month after I found out I was pregnant that he went away. It was about five hours away from where we were living currently. And uh, not only was I pregnant, but we are trying to sell the house. It was not ideal. And then we were living in at the time. The landlords were just terrible. But we survived. <laughs> and then another time, um, we were giving false promises from an upper management type person, and we kept getting told he was going to get a raise after a certain point. If he hit certain goals, yeah, we'll give you a raise, we'll give you a raise. And at that point, he hit his goals, and they said, no, we're not giving you a and so, we were stuck in a lease that we couldn't afford anymore. I used up all my savings from my 401k from the job I left. And we were basically homeless. We got, like, evicted. I had to live with my parents, and he had to live with a co-worker in their basement until he could find a new job. They kept saying they would allow him to transfer to back to our home state of Texas. They, they just kept breaking promises, and we lived apart for probably almost, uh, from August to March, however long that is. The, I had to get my son enrolled in school in Texas, so yeah, from August, like, like a week before school started, he dropped me off at my parents' house and flew back and had to sleep in his car. I mean, the things we do to make it go. So, yeah, the fact that I'm in all my own with my three teenagers, I'm fine. This isn't the worst we've had. It's just been the longest that we've been apart. Because the other times, he wasn't able to come home and visit. We just had to live apart for that long. And that was, that was hard. That was really, really hard. So... Anyways, I managed to ramble on for a few more minutes for you guys. <laughs> like I said, it was just kind of a touch base. Let me know any ideas you have or 
suggestions you have. I am trying the best I can to uh, get these videos out for you guys. 